Uh, on Friday, we learned that we had lost uh, an additional 345,000 uh, jobs in the month of May. Uh, that was far less than was expected, uh, but it's still too many. Uh, that means that uh, there are families who are still losing not only their jobs, but maybe losing their homes, finding themselves under extraordinary financial straits. And it's a reminder that we're still in the middle of a very deep recession uh, that was years in the making and that's going to take uh, a considerable amount of time for us to pull out of. Uh, having said that, this was the fewest number of jobs uh, that we have lost. Uh, uh, in about eight months. So it was about half of the number lost of just a few months ago. And it's a sign that we're moving in the right direction. The key is for us to build on uh, the modest progress that has been made in uh, the months to come. Uh, so, you know, when we arrived here, uh, we were confronting the most significant recession since the Great Depression. It was bad and it was getting worse. Had we done nothing, uh, I think it's fair to say that uh, most economists uh, believe uh, we could have uh, really gone into a tailspin. Uh, we decided to move swiftly and boldly. Uh, and I signed a Recovery Act into law uh, just over 100 days ago. Uh, and we've done more than ever, faster than ever, more responsibly than ever to get the gears of the economy moving again. Uh, we've created and saved, as you said, Joe, uh, at least 150,000 jobs, jobs of teachers and nurses and firefighters and police officers. Uh, people who had been laid off are not being laid off. Folks who uh, might have seen that plant close, as you pointed out in my hometown, uh, suddenly they started seeing orders coming back in. Uh, and